Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 157. Let's go ahead and get started. Where's my mouse? Where's there you are? I was like, it disappeared. Crap. That's a huge bolt of ice. Ice? What is there? Ice? Henry, are you right? Uh, yes, my queen. Uh, he even has ice in his hair. It appears your very nature is changing. What do you mean? Remember how I said that mana will course through your body? Once it is influenced by this bed and me. All the kings of the Western Kingdom have been mages. They were also able to turn their companions into mages by using this bed. <clears throat> when a mage is in the vicinity of a mana stone, mana flows between them. This also occurs if a non-mage happens to be between them. If the mage doesn't accept the circulating mana into their body, it flows into the non-mage. If you repeat this process for a long time, then are you saying that I caused this ice to form? Probably. Did you notice any hint that this might happen? The tips of my fingers did itch. Uh, it appears you've become one with your mo moniker, my queen. My moniker? You know, Ice Empress. They also call you the Iron Empress, but thank the heavens that wasn't the one you manifested. But I can't let this keep happening. It'd be disastrous. Once the magic settles on the power that befits you the most, you'll be able to control it. The power that befits me the most? Is that why ice manifested first? Because I'm a cold person? <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. Hmm. I suspect that you're inclined towards ice magic, but it's too early to say for sure. So, nothing for sure yet? I haven't felt this uncertain since I first began my duties as an empress consort. I wish I could help. But it's hard for me to explain because my magic awakened when I was very young. It will be better for you to seek a guidance from an expert to refine your skills. Uh, should I make a visit to Wilwell Academy? <gasps> Oh my gosh, they're gonna run into each other. Remember, so Veishu said he needs to go to Wilwul to talk about that stone. Oh, oh my gosh, they're gonna run into each other. <clears throat> it's gonna be weird. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I got a cough. But that's in the Eastern Empire. Will you be alright? I'll only be going to the Academy. Don't worry. The Remarried Empress, episode 157. Don't worry, she says. Everything will be fine, she says. <laughs> my excitement over my magic awakening was cut short. Mother. Father. As a troop that fought the Springwater Bandit returned, my parents and my brother finally had their re tearful reunion. Walton III was also part of the Bird Clan, so he must have been a mage by birth, but his health declined, leading to an early death. That's amazing. Then, is Lady Krista also a mage? Well, this method doesn't always work. Krista wasn't able to become a mage either. Is that the potential risk of the mana stone bed? Will I be able to bear a child since Henry is healthy and I'm able to wield magic now? Nevier, are you listening to me? Hmm? That's what's on your mind. Oh. Is, is someone giving you trouble again? No. Don't worry. If anyone dare to harass her, I'll deal with it immediately. Grrr. <laughs> huh. My apologies for interrupting, Your Majesty. I have an, ur an urgent update. What is it? Is news about the Eastern Empire. 
but it might be better discussed in private. No, go ahead and tell me. You insist. He's so stubborn. Empress Rashta has given birth to a child. Huh? So that's why he wanted to speak to me alone. Uh, let's see, if she birth gave birth now, then it must have been a premature birth. Yes, the child is a princess as such. They invited you to a banquet to celebrate the birth of their firstborn. It does specify that they won't be upset if you are unable to attend due to other obligations. It seems they only sent it as a formality and they don't actually want us to come. Um, we'll take our leave. We're finished with our meal anyway. I'm sorry. I know this was meant to be a celebration of your return. Let's dine together again soon. Uh. So, Rashta had her baby early? Right after it was exposed that she used my check to make a donation? <laughs> That's some poetic justice, isn't it? She picked on me for giving birth prematurely, but now she finds herself in the same situation. I only brought this check incident to light to protect my parents. I didn't expect such a turn of events. This is the first time my action have directly harmed Rashta. I don't know how to feel about this. Would Sylvesh you condemned me as a as usual if you knew about my involvement? Not that it matters now. And for Sylvesh you must be very happy. Now that his every wish has been fulfilled. <laughs> Where did everyone go? Countess Jober? Rose? Laura? Uh, uh, Queen? Uh, she must ha This has to be a nightmare. Why are you running and not flying? Queen? It'd be bad if he just went outside like that. I need to catch him. Ooh, what is that bird? Oh! <gasps> You. Is it trying to steal Henry's throne? Bad bird! T oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was really cute. I can't, okay. Oh. The bird reminds me of Henry, the way it craftily puts on an innocent air. You shouldn't do that again. Is that a sign of, like, her wanting a baby? Kew, kew. Your Majesty. Oh, you're right, Your Majesty. Uh, Nia? What about the little monster? Pardon? What? Is she hallucinating? What was that? I mean, I thought like, oh, maybe like she went to bed and she forgot that she was dreaming and she went to the, like, she saw all these things, but she was in the midst of a conversation with Neon and she zoned out? Is that part of her magic now? Like her, her mana abilities? It's weird. But that little check, it has to be a symbol, a symbolism of something, like her wanting a baby i don't know it's a lot Ugh. It, it stopped on a very weird episode and we have to wait another week until the next one comes out all right guys well how do what do you guys think and remember if you guys are gonna spoil it for people who read ahead put spoiler space 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 or enter 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 and then put it in there for people who don't want to be spoiled but i will read your spoilers i will keep reading it and still be surprised okay but what is going on? What's y'all's thought for people who don't read ahead? Because this is my, this is my opinion on it. I was like, okay, it is each thing that she, each things that she witnessed in that vision is something that she low key wants, and that of course it shows her true intentions. That she's very protective of Henry, even though she's denying the love that she's have for him, afraid that she'll get hurt one day. Okay, and there's a little chick that is very graceful and big and suddenly when she disciplined the 
the big old bird, it shrunk into a little chick. But it has to be her baby. It has to be like in the future she's able to have a baby. I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Okay. Anyways, I need to cut myself out. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.